Amen. If you want your victory, it's going to come through a breakthrough. you got to break through the enemy's lies sometimes to get your victory. Amen. These men, they weren't going to back off. They weren't going to be a scared of the devil. They weren't scared of anything. They said the king wants some water. Amen. We've got to be in a place where we want to please the king. These men wanted to please their king. tonight. I don't care what it tells you to do. I don't care where it tells you to go. And then you're going to go no matter what kind of devils you got to fight. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody needs to shout hallelujah. Amen. Amen. There was a time in the history of Israel. Hallelujah. Amen. That Elisha was a prophet. Uh -huh. That the king of Syria, he wanted to uh, stir some things up and he planned to set an ambush against the king of Israel. Right. Right. Amen. Yes, Amen. And so, Elisha, he warned him time and time again right. about this ambush. Right. Yeah. And the king of Syria got word and he got a little ticked off. Yeah. And he got a little upset. You know, the devil gets mad when God gets ready to do something he don't like. Yeah. But we need to look him square in the eye and say, I don't give a flying flip how mad you get, devil. Amen. God's going to perform what he wants to perform in my life. It does not matter what the devil thinks. It does not matter what the devil amen, has planned in your life. Syria got mad. Amen. And he told the king of, because if somebody had told the king of Israel about this ambush. And so the king of Syria gathered all his generals together. Amen. And he got them all in one place and he said, which one of you is for the king of Israel? Amen. And one of them stood up and, they, and told him and said, none, my lord, O king. He said, but Elisha, the prophet, hallelujah. He's the one that's speaking the words. Amen. He's the one that's telling the words you're speaking in your bedchamber. He's the one spilling the beans. And the king of Syria said, you go find that prophet. Amen. And one of them said, I believe he's in Dothan. He said, you go take that city and you get that prophet and you bring him here. The devil always thinks he's in charge. The devil always thinks he's just got the last say. Amen. The devil, you know, the devil wants to take you down with the sickness. Amen. He just laughed his head off because the doctor said I got diabetes. He just laughed his head off because the doctor said I had gout. Well, I got news for the devil. Hallelujah. I don't have gout anymore. God used a, a man that had been struck, amen, with a, with a, with a stroke. That couldn't talk, that couldn't walk, couldn't use one hand. Amen. But I went to that man's house. Amen. And we had prayer meeting in his kitchen. And the Holy Ghost fell. I'm talking about the devil thinks he's in charge. Thank you, Jesus. And when that man laid hands on me, hallelujah, the gap went away. Hallelujah. Praise God. Take that, devil. Oh, your victory is going to be greater than your battle. Hallelujah. Yeah, and he said, go get that, go get that prophet, capture him. And so the Syrians came by night. Yeah, Amen. They came with horses and they came with chariots. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, and a great host surrounded the city of Dothan. Yeah. And, uh, and the young man that was with the prophet, he gets up early the next morning. He steps out on the front porch of that shack he was staying in. Yeah. Yeah, and then he looks around. Yeah. Hallelujah. And what he saw was a city was surrounded by a Syrian army. And panic struck his heart. Amen. You can't go by what you see. I, I said you can't go. Amen. By the looks of your circumstance. It might look bad. It might look like you ain't going to make it. But you can't go by what you see. The Bible says that the just shall live by faith. You got to live by what you can't see. Hallelujah. And so he runs back in and he tells the old prophet, 
He says, Elijah, we're surrounded by a Syrian army. What are we going to do? Well, what he actually said, not what are we going to do, how are we going to do? In other words, what we're going to do means I've got some doubts and I've got some fears. Amen. But how we're going to do means we're coming out of this. Amen. we got some help. I said, we're coming, you're coming out of your situation. Amen. And you got some help. And his name is Jesus. And he's going to help you. He's going to be there with you. He's not going to leave you. He's not going to forsake you. young man he says fear not you see because Elijah was a man that lived by faith amen he said wait a minute he says fear not for they that be with us hallelujah are more than they that be with them amen if you could just see the host hallelujah amen that's fighting on your side amen if God would allow us to look into the sky and see all the enemies that are against us. The whole sky would be totally black. Oh, but all it takes is just one touch into that darkness and a light will shine through. And when that light comes to your situation, and when that light comes to your dilemma, and when that light reaches your situation, 